Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you how to install Sequence Server 2019 version developers on the Windows PC. Okay, so now let's get started. Open the web browser and you type in the search box e SQL Server 2019. Okay, and in the search result, you go ahead to click on the link from the Microsoft site. Okay. Okay, and this is the place where you can see some of the uh, information of the SQL Server 2019. Okay, and go back to the top, you can see from the menus, you click on the download link here on the top. Yeah, and it will be navigate to the SQL, SQL Server download page. Yeah, and you on, on the first, on the top, you can see there are some of the SQL Server on premise or on cloud information yeah and i scroll down to the download section this will be a free specification edition yeah we ha we have the developer option here and as a, and on the right hand i have express option yeah so in this video i will install the developer version yeah this is the full feature free edition and it only, it only allows you for using in the development server or testing server. Yeah. With non production environment. Uh, the differences between the developer and Express version is the Express version will be allow you install on the production environment. Yeah. But it will be only supposed to think for some small server or small application. Okay. So now here, because I'm going to do the in, uh, because I'm going to use the uh, sequence server for some development on my PC. So I want to use the full feature of the sequence server 2019. That means I want to install the developer version. Yeah. Just go ahead to click on download now button here. Yeah. And then it will get the setup file from the internet to the PC. Yeah. Click on this file after it downloads successfully on the PC. Click on yes button here to get the confirmation to allow you install sequence server on your PC. Yeah. So on this page, you have to select the installation type. Yeah. And I will go ahead to select the basic option. And then this is the license term. You can read it here by scrolling it down. Yeah. And then click on accept button to install the the, the uh, QL server developer edition on the PC. Yeah. On this on this step you are able to change the location of the uh, is of the Microsoft or SQL server on the PC. Otherwise you can go ahead to click on install button here to install the software. Yeah. It will be download the packet from internet before it's going to install the software on the PC. Yeah, so for now the installation has been completed successfully, and yeah, we, the next step we are going to install the management tool. Yeah, so here in order to install the management tool for Sequence Server, you just go ahead to click on the install at SMS here. Click on this one, and then it will open a link to allow you download the SQL Server Manage Management Studio. Okay. And here you scroll down to the download at MS section here. You can see we have a download at VR server management studio link. Yeah. Just go ahead to click on this link and then it will download the file from internet to the PC. Okay. And the current version of the SSMS tool here is 18.7. Okay. So basically after we install the SQL server successfully on the PC, you don't have here any UI to, to, to interact with the SQL server. So we need to install the uh, SQL server management studio tool in order to, uh, to, to do some interaction into the uh, SQL server that way. Yeah. So after the file download successfully on the PC, you just go ahead to click on uh, setup file to install the SQL Server 
management studio tune on your PC. Yeah. You can able to you are able to change the location to install the management studio here. Or you can even leave it by default and click on install button. And then waiting for the installation is done. Yeah. And for now the setup is completed. Yeah. You just go ahead to click on close button here. And then close this one. Yes. Okay. So now click on start button on the Windows PC. And you can see here we have a new folder, Microsoft SQL Server 2019. Click on this, yeah. And you can see some the SQL Server tool are function here, okay. And then you also see the Microsoft SQL Server tool 18. Click on this one, yeah. And here you you can go ahead to click on Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio 18, okay. This is the tune we have that installed successfully on the PC. Okay. So for the first time running, it can take some time to do some in, in, in it your, uh, setup. Yeah. So this is the default layout of Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio on the PC. Yeah. So here you can see the server type, it will be data engine. Okay. So let it by default. For the server name, it will be getting the name of the PC to to, to define a name for the uh, window uh, for, for the SQL server. Okay. And authentication, we have two options. Oh here we have some option because the Microsoft team has to add some the Azure functionalities into the uh in, into this tool, so it will have three more options here. Okay, so because we are using the on, on premise uh, version for SQL Server, so basically we will use the window authentication or SQL Server authentication. Yeah, so by default, because we have just installed the SQL Server on the PC and we don't have any uh, any step to do some the configuration or uh, setting up some the password for the system admin, admin account. So I will be using the window authentication to accept, uh, to connect into the uh, SQL server and the, okay. Click on connect button here. Okay. I will make it on bigger. Okay. And you can see here, there are some the data information. We have some the system data, the master data. Okay, and in the security, you can see the login, yeah, and you see that we have the SA, is the system admin account, is disabled for now. Okay, you just go ahead to select this SA account, and right click, select the property, yeah. So, for the property button here, for the, for the property for the SA account, you are able to change the password. Yeah, okay. And by default, after you install the SQL Server on the PC, the error account will be disabled. Yeah. And also the password here, we don't know what that it means. Yeah. Because we cannot see the password. So I will change it to other meaningful password. Yeah. And I also uncheck the enforce password policy because I don't want to apply any policy for my password. Okay. And the several yeah, public and system admin user mapping. Okay. Status. Okay. So here in the status option, you can see that we have the setting, the permission to connect to database engine. Yeah. Or only added and for the login it is disabled so now i go ahead to select the enable option to bring it back okay click on ok button yeah and then you can see here for now the edit account has been enabled okay so let me double click on this again yeah we quick check 
array and several user mapping status okay it seems fine for now and so now let me try to disconnect the current authentication by window yeah and for the authentic authentication mode i will change it from window authentication to the sql server authentication okay i go ahead to enable the account here and a and my password but what I have not uh, changed uh, before. And then click on close, a uh, connect button here. Yeah. So you see that we still get the login fail for user SA. Okay. Let me try to fix it. You can also see the more detail here. Okay. Scroll it down to see more detail. Okay, close on, click on close button here. Okay, and okay. So now you try to log in with the window authentication again. Connect. Okay. And here, just go ahead to right click on the TNVS minus PC. Yeah, this is the name of my instance server. And then I click on property. So here I will go ahead to select some of the option here for security. Yeah. And for the server authentication, I will select the option E in this of select option in window authentication mode by default. So I will select the option number two. Number two here. It will be allow user to access the uh, SQL server engine by using both window authentication and also the SQL server account. Okay, and then you can also check some other information in other tab here. Okay, okay, and then click on OK button to do some confirmation for the update. Okay, and then log it out again. Try to access by using SQL Server Authentication. Add a account. Connect. Still fail. You know why? Okay, so before you update the uh, after you update the uh, uh, I mean after you change the authentication mode from window authentication to most uh, window window authentication and the uh, SQL Server account. So you have to restart your PC or restart the SQL Server service on your PC in order to apply the new change. Okay, so here let me open the window run and I will tie in the uh, service services.msc okay so this is the service management layer you will scroll it down to the SQL server Microsoft okay here SQL server and you see like this one it, you see here status is running so I will right click on this one and try to, to restart it. Okay, and then I will, I will come back to uh, SQL Server Management Studio tool and try to log in again. Okay, so now after we reset the SQL Server service and then we come back to use the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio tool and then I'm able to access into the SQL Server engine by using the uh, SQL Server account authentication mode. Okay, cool. So now the last step, let me try to create a new database here. Okay, we name it TNVSDB. Okay, new database, new database has been created. And let me try one more time to create a new table. ID, name, address, email, okay, and change the name into primary key with the integer, integer. okay, and for the identification, I have a 
with no and I will change this one to it yeah because I want the ID with the auto integrators save it at my table okay close this one and try to refresh this yeah okay and show now here in case if you want to add more column into the table show how to do it just right click on this one and you click on design in the design here you just go ahead to add new column i will have the uh sec okay it will be binary let me save it up okay so in case if you are if you cannot uh, modify the table here you just go ahead to check tune and option yeah you scroll it down and for the you select the designer yeah so here you can uncheck prevent saving changes that require table recreation okay okay button okay so now here let me open this one and i will try to enter some data Chien. Yeah, at gmail.com. One. We have uh, issue. Change value shall not recognized by time. It can be two. Chien. It will be zero. No, I choose. Oh, what happened? Okay. Let me edit this again. Binary. Download. Okay. And I will change it to the text or something. Gotcha. Save it again. And I refresh this one. It will be the mail. No, no, no. Sorry, close this. And refresh it again. Okay. Cool. Okay, cool. Okay, so I think that's all for today. And after you finish this video, you know how to install the SQL Server uh, 2019 developer version. Yeah. And then you also know how to do some of this configuration to enable the FA account for the SQL Server. Okay, so I hope this video will have fun for you. If you have any question, let me know. Or you can also comment it into the video. I will try to answer you as soon as possible. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye-bye and see you guys in the next video.